The 13 graduates are the first civil engineer graduates of the Graduate Development Program by the Department of Works and Highways. Under the theme, Developing Technical Skills for National Growth, the 14 graduates were challenged to be the driving force for the development of national growth. Speaking to the graduates, CEO of the Institute of Engineers of Papua New Guinea, Benedict Mike, said their presence was a testament to their personal growth and technical skills that will contribute to the nation's growth. We stand on the threshold of the future. We must recognize the critical role that all engineers play in shaping the destiny of all nations around the globe. From designing innovative infrastructure to uh, addressing environmental challenges, you, all of you here as engineers, are the builders of a better world. The Secretary for the Department of Works and Highways, David Ware, also convoyed his congratulations to the graduates. It's not about just sitting here. I know you have already graduated. This may be your other small graduation, but I think it's very significant as far as experience is concerned. As far as experience, Rachel Aputi, one of the two females who graduated today, acknowledged her immediate supervisors, colleagues and family who have supported her throughout her GDP journey. She added that the journey has been very challenging as a female in a male-dominated field. However, she has strived to be where she is today and is thankful for the opportunity given by the Department of Works and Highways. To be the only female in the uh, department, to work along with the guys, it's challenging, especially when you are in the field, in the field and this technical part of it. Like The 14 graduates were gifted with laptops after the ceremony for their continued work as they depart for their respective locations. Cynthia.